Hello everyone. So in today's session, we will see what are the Prometheus metrics and their types. So basically, Prometheus uses pool-based model, meaning it periodically scraps metrics from services, applications, and infrastructure components. Now, these metrics are typically exposed via an HTTP endpoint known as the Prometheus Exposition Format. And the metrics are essentially key value pairs that represents the state or behavior of your system over time. Now, in this diagram, you can see there are four types of the Prometheus matrix that is counter, gauge, histogram, and summary. So, we will see each one of them one by one. So, let's see the first one that is counter. So basically, counters represent cumulative values that only increase. They used to count occurrence of events or total amounts. Counters are reset to zero when the Prometheus server restarts or when a counter is explicitly reset. So counters are used when the HTTP requests are email sent, task completed, to show number of errors. So in this case, the counters are used. Now, when to use counter metrics? So how many times X happens? So if you want to count the total number, then you can use the counter matrix. Now, the counter instrumentation methods, these are the counter matrix that track how many times an event occurs. Here are some common methods to instrument them. So direct event, it calculates the sensors or hardware. That is count physical events like button presses, sensor triggers, etc. Now the software events like track occurrences, within your code, like API calls, function executions. Now the incremental changes, they track deltas, use counters to measure changes in values over time, like number of active users, bytes transfer. Now the state transition, it count transition between states in your system. So how many times successful logins happen, or how many times the failed transaction in case of the e-commerce. Now the external sources, in these log files, like pass logs to count specific events documented within them. Now the database updates track changes in database tables related to events you want to count. And in the instrumentation libraries, these libraries you can see in the Prometheus official page, use language specific library to easily increment counters based on events within your code. So it utilizes generic tools like telegraph, to collect event data from various sources and export them as counters. So key point is here, choose the method based on the event source, granularity related and efficiency of implementation. Ensure your counter accurately reflects the desired event count. Consider potential edge cases and double counting scenarios. So now the next type is gauge. Gauges represent numerical values that can go up and down. So in previous uh, type of Prometheus metric that is counter, we can see the value is numeric value is going up only. So this disadvantage is solved in the gauge. They are typically used for major values that can increase or decrease like uh, CPU uses, memory uses, or the number of active connections. Gauges are suitable for tracking instantaneous values at a particular point in time. Unlike counters, gauges do not automatically reset or wrap around. They retain their last observed value until a new value is provided. Gauges provide already existing value which was stored somewhere else in program or in real time. So the gauges uh, just calculate and show the value which we have stored somewhere else in the our program or anything in the real world. So they just uh, search for that value and give it in the format we want. So now when to use gauges metrics. So what is the current value of X now? So if you want to calculate the instantaneous value as we have seen in the point three. So for that purpose, we are using the gauge matrix. Now the different ways to instrument data as gauge matrix. Direct measurement. Use sensors, APIs, to directly grab values like temperature, memory uses, etc. Now the for calculations purpose, 
we combine the counters histograms to create the gauge values like this type of a uh, combination is used for the calculating the free memory so for that purpose we have to write the code to calculate values from various data sources and expose them as gauges now the external data sources they read the data from databases files apis at regular intervals and expose latest values as gauges instrumentation libraries as we have seen in the uh, counter also they are provided by the prometheus client libraries to easily expose data as a gauges use generic libraries like telegraph to collect data from diverse sources and export it as gauges so the key point here we have to remember choose the method based on your data source update frequency complexity and development resources the ultimate goal is to expose meaningful values that change over time as gauge matrix now the third type of the metric is the histogram histograms sample observations and track distribution measure statistical distributions of values like request durations automatically calculate quantiles percentiles and averages so if you want to calculate the average or percentiles then for that purpose we go with the histogram matrix they are useful for understanding data spread and variability histograms are cumulative they accumulate observations into comparable configurable buckets so we will see what are the buckets and how we have to use it in the next slide so now the question is when to use histogram matrix so if you want to calculate the aggregate or if you have quantitative data then for that purpose we will go with the histogram matrix now the types of histograms are cumulative histogram that tracks the total count of observations that fall into each bucket or below it it shows the overall distribution from zero to the maximum observed value snapshot histogram represents a snapshot of the distribution at a specific point in time it doesn't accumulate data over time so if you want to particular uh, for the particular point of a time then this type of uh, data also we get in the snapshot histogram now the constructing of the histogram define bucket so that de determine the range of values and divide it into meaningful buckets so for example 0 to 10 microsecond 10 to 50 microsecond instrument your code use libraries or frameworks to capture data points and feed them into the histogram matrix now the histogram instrumentation methods they are direct measurement use libraries to capture specific events for example request duration and contribute them to the histogram calculations calculate values from other matrix or data sources and contribute them to the histogram now the external data sources extract data from the database files or apis and contribute it to the histogram histogram exposition format they have buckets sum and count so the bucket each bucket has a label and a value representing the upper bound of the range and the count of observations within it and the sum is the total sum of all observed values across all buckets and the last one is count the total number of observations contributing to the histogram now the key points here is to remember is choose appropriate bucket sizes based on your data and desired granularity monitor histograms for outliers or unexpected patterns combine histograms with other matrix for comparative analysis so in here also you can combine this uh, matrix with other type of matrix to get the more detailed information about your monitoring use queries and visualization tools to effectively analyze and communicate insights from histograms so here additional tips is consider using summaries for simpler scenarios where full distribution isn't crucial so if you want to go for simpler version of this then you can go that is the next type of the matrix that is summary explore advanced prompt ql functions like histogram bucket for deeper analysis remember histograms are most valuable when used to understand variations and identify potential bottlenecks now the last type is summary matrix unlike histogram summaries do not preserve the individual observations instead they summarize the data over time use for tracking request latencies response sizes or the other quantifiable observations provide information about distribution including percentiles and quantiles 
so here also they provide the percentiles and quantiles but uh, not in detail as a histograms suitable for measuring response time distributions now when to use summary matrix so for how long something took or how big something was if you want to know this kind of the questions then we will go with the summary type of matrix now the constructing summary matrix the purpose is summarize large data sets into concise and informative statistics types of uh, summary matrix for constructing summary matrix are the mean it is the average value of all data points then the median value that splits the data in half in order then standard deviation measure of spread around the mean then percentage value below which a certain percentage of data points fall then quantile similar to percentiles but divides data into equal groups so for this purpose if you want to calculate mean median standard deviation percentile or quantile we use the summary so here i have shown what the this all does choosing matrix consider design insights and data distribution now the exponential formats that the purpose is represent large numbers complex compactly and in tissue formats scientific notations so so if you want to calculate the scientific notations uh, integers then you can use the exponential formats for the summary then if you want to calculate the engineering notations now when to use this type large data set with wide ranges of values querying summaries tools prometheus promql query matrix storing prometheus sql it query summarizes data stored in databases time series analysis tools explore and analyze summarized data over time so the example find the median request duration for a specific endpoint if you want to compare the 90th percentile of a memory users across different servers or if you want to track changes in the mean response time over time for such kind of the questions or such kind of the problem we will require the summary matrix now the key points over here is align matrix and queries to your specific needs consider data distribution and outliers when choosing matrix utilize appropriate tools for efficient querying and analysis visualize summaries for better understanding and communication and the additional tips for summary matrix is combine multiple summary matrix for comparison insights now use filters and aggregations in queries for precise analysis monitor and update summary matrix regularly for relevance so you can see here we have completed the all the four types of the matrix so uh, if you want to combine and if you want to know in a one sentence when to use which type of the matrix so if you want to go with the counter so you have a problem of how many times x happen so if you want to solve such type of a problem you will go with the counter matrix in the gauge type of a matrix what is the current value of the x now that is instantaneous value if you want to get to know then you will go with the gauge matrix and in the histogram where if you want to calculate the aggregate and quantitative data required or if you want to know this type of a data then histogram matrix is suitable now in case of summary how long something took or how big something was this type of a problem if you want to get to know about the data then we will go with the summary type of the matrix so if you have any doubt you can connect us support at the red devops in dot com thank you